Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Jax Classic Superstars from Series 21, the Human Submission Machine, Taz. Certainly a figure I was very excited to pick up, uh, mainly for what is probably my favorite championship belt of all time, and that's the ECW Championship. Really cool figure of Taz from his earlier uh, appearance, I guess, as ECW champ. Uh, I believe he was ECW champ when he first went to WWE as well, although he had a, a slightly different appearance uh, with the tights and, and, and stuff. Really awesome looking figure, huge fan of this guy, and very excited to get him opened up out of packaging and hopefully give you guys a cool review. As you can see, he comes in the standard Jax, classic superstar style packaging, and uh, that's pretty much it. Not, not much else in the way of packaging. Decent shot of Taz on the side there. Very, very awesome looking figure. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, we see a nice shot of Taz there on the back. Uh, 240 pounds, 5 foot 9, ECW champion, FTW champion, world tag team champion, hardcore champion, and ECW tag team champion. Certainly a good list of accomplishments. Also a long-time commentator. Really, really big fan of this guy. Other figures in the set, of course, we've got Retro Chris Jericho, Jesse Ventura, Brian Pillman, uh, the weird as series uh, of WWE figures in that particular one. We've got Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, which is pretty cool, and Buff Bagwell. Actually, interesting, just looking at the Buff Bagwell, he's uh, the NWO version, so uh, I didn't know that. That's, that's kind of cool. I might actually go back and pick him up purely just because that's an NWO version. But back to Taz, let's get him opened up. And here we have Taz opened up and out of packaging. A really, really cool looking figure. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the face. Nice pissed off looking Taz there. Look at that. Really, really cool. Lots of nice detail on this guy as well. I love the shirt. That's really awesome. Nice detail on the tattoos as well. You can see the, uh, the work that Jacks have done. Pretty decent, actually. Um, I thought he had a Tasmanian Devil actually tattooed on him. Um, but I guess I was wrong. I thought that's what it was. They might have, uh, actually, that might have been this tattoo here that they've changed into a, a wrestler. But otherwise, really nice. Comes with his trademark tracksuit pants. Yeah, pretty solid figure. In terms of articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, standard wrist articulation, swivel waist, Legs move forward and back, bend at the knee, and then swivel in the ankle. He is a little bit more limited just because of the, the way he is uh, sculpted. This isn't a, a soft rubber shirt or anything like that. It is actually his, uh, his torso. But still, really, really cool looking. And in terms of accessories, we get uh, Terminator Taz with uh, his trademark sunglasses, which is pretty cool. And this, the ECW Championship. Really, really awesome. Mattel have uh, only released a version of this with the CM Punk exclusive ringside collectibles figure, which also looks like a really cool belt. But other than that, you've pretty much got the, the Jax one. They did do a version of this with the, the colors in it, which also looks fantastic. But this is just one of my favorite belts. I was a huge, huge ECW fan. So I'm very, very happy to finally pick this up. And finally here, just for size comparison, you can see Taz actually scales really, really well with the newer Mattel figures. Not as well with some of the TNA Jax figures, uh, but that doesn't matter. What's important is that with the Mattel figures, he actually fits perfectly. So on that basis, if you're a fan of Taz, if you're a fan of ECW, I think this guy is a must-have. And hopefully you've enjoyed this review on the WWE Jax Classic Superstars Taz.